It was August, and I was 17 years old at the time. My dad and mom had taken my little brother and sister to Tucson to do something for the day. We lived in a trailer in a rural area outside of Sierra Vista. We had two horses, two dogs, a cow, and chickens on the small amount of land we had. As the oldest son, it was my job to feed and take care of them. On the night in question, it was a stormy monsoon rain with thunder and lightning going on. But like monsoons can be, they rage and then settle into a lull and rage again. I was getting ready to settle down and watch a good movie when all of a sudden my two dogs started barking and wouldn't shut up when I told them to calm down. In the previous week or so before that, my dogs had been acting up and barking a lot at night. I attributed this to coyotes that I'd heard howling in the night. So I got my dad's 30-30 and just one bullet in case I had to shoot to scare off the coyote or kill it if rabbit. I rested the loaded rifle near the wall by the back door and turned on the floodlights outside the trailer. The rain had just stopped so I looked out by the window near the front door and saw our two horses and cow staring as if through the front door to the back door of the trailer where the dogs were barking. I thought maybe they're scared of the coyotes. So I grabbed the rifle and opened up the back door. As I was getting near the back door, however, I heard my dogs whimpering and crying. Now I was thinking, is it a pack of coyotes? So I put a few bullets in my pocket, figuring I could load them if I didn't like what I saw. I opened up the back door and the darndest thing happened. My two dogs beeline rushed past me to the center of the trailer and hunkered down in the kitchen. Mud was everywhere on the floor from their paws and I was pissed because I had to clean it up. So I closed the door and went to coax my dogs to get out, but they wouldn't budge and squirmed out of my arms when I tried to grab them. They were terrified. Now I was really mad at the coyotes and grabbed the rifle to go run them off or kill them. The trailer sits on a foundation of blocks. The front and back doors were accessible by a set of small stairs. I'm five foot six, by the way. Well, I opened the back door and I was looking out in the darkness at that point. I was about to step out when I saw a set of eyes looking back at me out of the darkness. From the top of my head in the trailer to the ground is around seven plus feet or so. And here is a set of eyes looking at me level and square on. I'm like. Don Coyote must be on the small gravel hill we used to pave the road, or it's a bird on a mesquite bush. But I was thinking to myself, that monsoon was awfully bad and rained hard. What kind of bird would hunker down on a mesquite bush, and why would a coyote be out in a downpour? So as I was raising my rifle and drawing a bead on the eyes, lightning lit up the night. And all of a sudden, the lightning illuminated the small gravel hill that's like six feet high and the surrounding mesquite bushes. The light winked out as fast as it had appeared from the lightning though, but there was nothing on the gravel hill and no bird on any of the mesquite bushes. Then it dawned on me. 
Whatever it was, it was very tall and was still staring at me. A sense of dread crept over me all of a sudden as I realized that the 3030 only had one measly bullet. And if I miss, there was no way I'd be able to reload before it was on me. I kept the gun pointed at it while I quickly closed the door. I locked the door, realizing this trailer would never withstand whatever it was out there if it attacked. I locked the front door and turned on all of the lights in the house. I grabbed all the bullets, the 30 odd six and 22 rifle, and then got on in the kitchen with the dogs and I loaded each rifle full on. I hugged my dogs and prayed that whatever it was went away and didn't attack. I stayed awake that whole night until my parents got back. My dad was furious that all the lights were on. Then my dad checked outside for the coyotes, but whatever it was, was gone.